This is Gubin Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the press conference here ahead of this Saturday night's fight nights from Frank Warren yeah. at your call. I'm joined by the returning Ryan Garner, the Piranha. The Piranha's back. The Piranha is Saturday. back, absolutely. Um, yeah, you're back in action. Obviously, your last fight was out in July. Yeah, July at Cobb Box. So it's, been a little, it's been a little while. It's been a while. Yeah. But so, yeah, I'm, I, listen, I don't know what you can really tell us about what's been yeah. going on, Ryan, with you, but if you could sort of give some sort of explanation. Yeah, well, obviously, it was, um, I had a few problems in my personal life outside the ring. Obviously, me being, I did, I did something stupid, and that's a, which I paid for, do you know what I mean? I've, I've been out of the ring for five to six months now. So, yeah, I've, done, I've still been in the gym training and that. So hopefully, come Saturday, I'll be a better fighter than what I was before I, before I had the break. I mean, it came as a little bit of a shock to to people to kind of yeah. learn things and we don't know all the ins and outs of it mm. and uh, I know you're trying to move away from it yeah. so um, but yeah would you say that you've kind of learned, yeah. learned Massively, like in that time I let a lot a lot of people down from from a mistake that, that I made and that but I think over that time that I've had the break I've, I've matured massively do you know what I mean and I've learned from it massively I've, I've took myself away from like the hanger ones the clinger ones that were bringing me down really and I think just Everything in general is running much smoothly now. Do you feel like you're in a kind of a happier place now? Oh, much better. Like, I'm loving training again. Do you know what I mean? I'm in much better, like physically, mentally. I'm better than what I've ever been. And that's come Saturday, it will show. Do you know what I mean? Because it, obviously, one of your biggest fans was was and still is Frank Warren. Yeah. Um, who used to really kind of sing your praises, yeah. and you want him to keep doing that with you delivering in the ring. Yeah, of course. Obviously. That's what I'm saying, I let a lot of people down, including him. So I've got to make it up to him. Obviously, he's backed me from the start and he's still sticking with me now. So I appreciate that massively, what he does for me and that. So I've got a lot of making up to him, especially, do you know what I mean? So I'm sure I'm sure down the line, a couple of years time when I got a world title, it would all be worth it. Absolutely, but I mean, how old are you, Ryan? Just turned 20 last month. You're, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, there's no, I always think there's no people use kind of the age as um, or their age yeah. is a reason why things happen and yeah. you're kind of smart enough to kind of... Yeah, of course. I know, you know. I, I'm old enough to know what's wrong or what's right, do you know what I mean? So I can't just, I can't use my age as that. But you are young and, do you know what I mean? You're naive sometimes and that, so... But I think I'm maturing every day now and I think it will show. It's all in the past now, like I said, you're so, focusing on, you've got your fight date this Saturday so people will see you back so, in action and... It's all about the future now, I think. I ain't going to keep dwelling on the past, you know what I mean? The only way I can make people forget about that is by having a successful career from now on. And hopefully this year, starting Saturday, it's going to be a busy year and then people will start ranting and raving about me again. Absolutely. Listen, you're so, not the first person to make a mistake nah, in boxing and you mean. certainly won't be the last. Nah, so, nah, yeah. as long as you're learning from That's all you can do. All you can do is it. learn from it, do you know what I mean? Which I have massively, you know what I mean? Never, just something stupid that will never happen again. Absolutely. Um, I just see Frank Hopkins here, yeah, so he hasn't, he hasn't ditched you. Nah, no, nah, hasn't I'll, ditched and that's what I mean. I've still got obviously my trainer Wayne, Frankie Hopkins, obviously Frank Warren, like, they, they're all still backing me, which I'm grateful for. Do you know what I mean? They could have easily left me, like just left me, but they obviously got a lot of faith in me, and I aim to make up to them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. The important people, I suppose you know, will always yeah. sort of stick with you, and if they don't, there's a reason for oh, that. Of course, yeah, obviously. If they don't think as highly as they do about me, they wouldn't be with me now today, would they? So I've got to just carry it on and then uh, they'll be worth it in the end, trust me. What can you say about your opponent this week? Um, I believe he's, he, he's, he's a very durable opponent. I think he went all four rounds with um, Joey Cordina and that. And he's been in with some good good boxers and took him a distance. So he's a durable and that's, that's what I need to progress my career. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be like the last one. I know it's all well and good blowing them out there in the first round, but you don't learn as much from that, do you? So I think if they're going to take me the distance, hopefully they're a bit game and they actually come for a fight. And that in the longer run, get the rounds in my butt, it's going to pay off. Absolutely. So you'll be looking to make a statement at your call oh, yeah. this week and hopefully for yourself make it 7 and 9. Yeah, that's what I mean. If I can stop him on Saturday against a durable opponent, then it's a statement, which I, know, I believe I can. Well, listen, wish you the best of luck and uh, we'll catch up with you after your fight on yes. Saturday night. Good Sweet. to see you back. Cheers, good. All right. Appreciate it. Top man.